So, my friends, welcome to the human design dot live webinar, where we're going to be talking about your business by design. And I'm so excited about this new presentation because, you know, geeky three third lines, we always love new and improved. And that's one of the secrets to material success is the constant improvement, you know, evolvement, um, getting more and more efficient, more and more new and improved. That is the third line way. So I'll tell you a little secret. Each of you who are a third line profile, so your sun, earth, one of those on either side is a third line. You have it a lot easier when it comes to mastering the material plane. Because if you've been a student for, of mine for a while, you know that everywhere that you do not have a gate activation, those places in your design, they're not empty. They're resonant. They're receptive. And anytime there's a third line, what you're meeting in the other person or what the transits are going through, you're going to resonate to that. That's going to be your way because you're already a third line being. So people who have a lot of strong threes in their design, their sun earth especially, are here to be masters of the material plane. So we kind of have our work cut out for us too though because we can make all the mistakes and it can go horribly wrong. And if we don't learn to curb our pessimism and operating in alignment, then we don't get the material success that we were born for. So it's a lot easier for the third line profiles to make money. And it's a lot easier for you if you've got an undefined center in your design where there's a third line gate activation hanging out as a dormant potential. Those are your natural money receptors. And that right there is the whole key to the 64 Material Ways, Ra's audio uh, teaching, one of the last courses that he taught. And what we're going to be doing in this program, if you decide to continue, is we're going to be taking that material and applying it to your individual designs. Now, I'm going to give you an overview of not only the program itself, but how everything fits together when it comes to my integration of human design with BG5. So this is my logo, Archer's Human Design. And my husband designed it for us because when we were married, you know, obviously I took on his name. And it is also a magic mandala, a sigil. And I chose this to be on target because that is one of the wisdom potentials that I have in my design. And what I want from each of you is full disclosure of where you're at with regards to if there's anything that confuses you. I really want to make sure that you're not moving through the motions and not doing any of the process work and just like not sure what to say so you don't say anything or you don't do anything. You don't, you don't work with the information in between our sessions. So best if it's a general question to use the chat in the live sessions like we're doing or the forum if you're attending through recordings so that can keep you up to speed so that you don't fall behind. And in this program, I'm only welcoming human design, either in analyst training that you have finished level one. So that's a whole year after the foundation. So two years in the experiment, at least, or you've had all of your foundations and you've also gone through the Radical Transformations Clinic. So we're only moving forward with five people live maximum and one person would be through recording. Say it doesn't work because they're already teaching. I have a lot of fellow professionals come into my program or maybe it's really evening for them. And we're taking on this human design system from the perspective of money, which is really fun. It's one of my favorite subjects <laughs> with regards to how to make it because I have a lot, three third lines and undefined centers. So I have a lot of money receptors in my design naturally, as well as it's just part of the desire motivation that to find the success, this design projector success, through helping other people find the money. So that little graphic, show me the money. This is what Lavina has been doing for quite a while now as a projector, the advisor. And you guys know my IHDS qualifications, as well as my BG5 qualifications. And at the end, I'm going to show you how special that is with regards to what this program is 
and how you can participate in the program and why those prerequisites are there so that we don't confuse you and we don't throw a monkey wrench in your human design experiment because ultimately that is the most important thing that your human design experiment of being your own authority is upheld. So throughout all of this, I'm going to always bring it back to you while we collaborate with you on your human design based business. Because you're utterly unique, your business needs to be too. So this is going to be a program unlike anything else that is available out there or that you have experienced before, because we're going to be using your body graph to plan for success. It's not an accident. And we're going to be working with profit potential coaching, which we created at the BG5 Business Institute. I'm one of four people in the world who can teach the workshops at the BG5 Business Institute. We've certified many coaches over the years, but I'm only one of four teachers who can teach this if you want to get certified to do this yourself. Because even though you might get the concepts of what I'm doing, you're not learning all of the foundational knowledge. We're going to be focusing on chart work. We're going to be working with your personal treasure map. And what Raw said was that BG5 was black or form magic, you could say. I actually have the black magic gate, form magic. And that's in my Pluto, which is, you know, transformation and truth. It's very, very profound as an awareness potential. And the possible p expression of solutions on this material plane that lead us to find more security. So that's one of my um, money lines. It's just not the third line. Okay, so everywhere in your body graph, if you look down at your body graph, you'll see all of those little hanging dormant gates out of undefined centers. Those are all your money receptors. The third lines are the ones that we're going to be focusing on, not the first time we meet, because we're going to be meeting each other and talking about your biggest business challenges. But the second time we come together, we're going to be talking about your money receptors. And I have presentations almost every week that I'll be giving to you so that you can be guided and I have something to work with visually as we move through this material. Okay, so understanding how you're here to make money is not about trying to sell yourself. It's about organically operating in alignment, your way of creating material success. Ultimately, material success is something that is aligned with your design. So all we're doing is just using your personal treasure map to which I have added the differentiation degree deeper layers, as you can see here, which they don't use at BG5 because we haven't certified anybody at that level of the knowledge yet to implement the magic squares. So we're going to be focusing on the magic squares. See over on the right hand side, the personality construct and you have all of those blue boxes plus the white, the moon, the moon being our keystone for this magic square. We're going to be deconstructing that magic square in multitudes of different ways so that you know how you're here to be materially successful because this is where you can profit, especially when you have third lines in undefined centers. Okay, so that's the, the little trigger to help your ears perk up and pay attention because that's the thing that you really want to pay attention now, when we talk about planning, all we have to do is deconstruct the body graph. Now that can sound very simple, but there's a lot of different moving parts and layers. First things first in our cycles of growth is to recognize everybody's at a different age and stage of their life. So the kind of advice I would give to somebody if they're under their Saturn is very different than if they're above their Chiron cycle, you know, below 30, above 50, big difference, especially when you're a sixth line profile. So I'm going to do my best to customize all of my advice specific to you so that you can discover and implement. That's what 21 line three does implement, implement. And here I am with my uh, left facing mind that is loving to sell you on strategies, your career design successfully in your business. So up until this point, for the most part, if you've been taking human design classes with me, you've heard me use the human design language, not so much the business design language. It's slightly different. So in the BG5 career and business language, we have 16 success codes, 16 success codes. 
Some of this stuff you already know as a human design student of mine. Other things you may not. Now you're going to get a report, a complete advanced report, if you don't already have one from me, that is not a handwritten, it's a computerized report, and it'll have all the keynotes from BG5 in it. So I'll give you all your advanced keynotes, all of the things that my Maya Mechanics advanced software will give to you, including your dream rave, so that we can make sure that we connect with what's most important for you to focus on when it comes to profiting by being yourself. So that's the first step, is discovering yourself individually. Now, this particular experience is about your treasure map. So the treasure map, basically your human design body graph, it shows you what your purpose is, what your shadows are, where your challenges are, how to leverage your talents and gifts, who you are here to work with. If you're a two, hi, I'm a 14, nice to meet you. You know, who are you here to partner with? How does your energy flow best? Especially when it comes to making money, your fears and beliefs, which ones hold you back? What business model is best suited for you if you're contemplating doing this versus that? What is your body graph actually telling us so that you can take into account that information, maybe simmer on it, you know, process it so that you can recognize how you will profit more? Would it be solo partnership, part of a small or a large team? And who do you need to hire or outsource to someone else so that you can profit better just by being yourself and how you can best market yourself and your business. Now, this is usually a, a place where people have a lot of trouble. I'm a one eight. So I'm the one that you come to when you want to hear, how do I attract attention to my business, Lavina? I look at your chart and I go, okay, so this is, this is, this is, this is what I'm seeing. And then you take that and you process it. You're probably going to want to go back to the recordings, just listen to your coaching segment write things down, write down some keynotes, and then process it and rewrite it in your own language, in your own way. I can do only so much, you know, I'm, I'm not the expert of you, you are. So you might like to substitute or swap out different words, a different way that you might explain it because you are a different person. But I'll give you my best go with jumpstarting your business, which is what a gate 14 can do. And I've got two of those to help you with jumpstarting your business so that you can learn what works for you specifically in career and business profitability. So that's where we are right now. That's why I've got this, I've got the target and I've got the little you are here thing in the background to help us know this is what we're going to be working with, discovering your treasure map. I will still take aspects of this area of the body graph, you know, direction or focus, but I'm not gonna give you a complete BG5 16 success codes career design um, analysis that takes three private sessions. Now the first session you guys can skip because you've already been in my professional trainings. So you already know the overview stuff, but the deeper layers, the business skills, the attributes, you know, the way that you're here to be in large business, that's not covered in my foundational human design courses. Okay. And then the third step, now this is only if you're going to go out and create a large business, is understanding your alpha one leadership. So there are analysis that we can do in context with other people's designs, those on your team, so that you know your way of communicating with the right person to get the message down the line of your organization. So we're talking about 16 people in your business or more. I will still work in, if you do have an Alpha One channel, I will still work in a recognition of how you behave in alignment with regards to the larger groupings. Because just because you have an Alpha One channel doesn't mean that all large groups are for you. But this can be a profound evolutionary leap in the way that you do business. And it allows the executive or manager of a large group to be effective and efficient and really focuses on how they can be a respected leader. So that's also going to be incorporated into our coaching if that is applicable to you. Now, there are gears that run a profitable company. How appropriate it is for you to work in a small team and how you're going to turn their, your shadows in that team into success. A small business that is profitable and competitive and successful, and we're talking three to five people, needs to have all of those aspects there. And so I'll show you 
what aspects you bring to the group and what you need to outsource or hire out. Now, when we talk about the small business, that's where a BG5 consultant comes in. Large business is OC16. And individuals, human design analyst, and also you know, using the BG5 language, like I mentioned, there's these three distinct aspects of the BG5 career and business human design system. And every single one of them build upon each other. So what we're going to be doing with our analysis time is looking holistically so that you as an individual can benefit from knowing what your strengths are as an individual and in a small business and in a large business. And we're going to incorporate that into your deliverables if you choose to work on them. We'll see how much more time you need to process and simmer and come up with deliverables because I'm not going to force anybody. Hey, this is the last, you know, you got to bring it next week. Here's our last class and, you know, have all your stuff together and I'll never look at it again. I'm, I'd be happy to look at your marketing with you. I don't want to write it for you. I'm happy to speak it about it. But as far as writing it, it would take me way too long. And I feel like it's more empowering if you, using your human design knowledge, would do it for yourself. And you'll notice, I'm a third line, so this is my process anyway, it goes through iterations as you go deeper and deeper into your deconditioning process. And you learn more and more about what you do like and what you don't like and what is your joy and what isn't your joy and the stuff that you love and the stuff that you don't. If you're a third line like me, you're going to experiment with a lot of that. So those individual success codes, when we look at the individual, it also takes a look at not only the small group, but the large group. Again, we're looking at profit potential. So it's the business of being yourself that we're going to focus on in the coaching. Not an individual analysis, but a group analysis. What I've noticed is that profit that is fulfilling comes with the right amount of challenge. That's my case anyway. I'm a third line. I like a good challenge. I like rising to the occasion. I'm a 28. I like, you know, finding the purpose, a higher purpose, a higher calling in life. And when you love what you are doing and it's right for your design, then the money starts to flow. If you're banging your head trying to do all the things or not leveraging your team or not focusing enough on the stuff that really lights you up, you're not going to be an expert at that thing. You know, it has to come in alignment with what's congruent about your design. So that's what we're going to be working on. Now, in the profit potential analysis, what it does is it synthesizes the wisdom potentials, especially of your design along with your strengths, along with your public role, which is the profile, along with your life work, your incarnation cross. And what it does is it gives you a clear view of how you can best profit and offer your product or service in alignment with your design. And it's for others in the most correct and authentic way possible. So that's what we're going to be really focusing on is, is this specific aspect. So this treasure map, you can see here we've got um, some bar graphs and some information that is just basically taking the design and distilling it down into different components that helps us see the traits that we use for profit and your general profit potential selling themes. So the selling themes we're going to be working on all throughout, but we're going to focus specifically on our second meeting. That would be in June, the first week of June, Monday of June. And we're going to focus on the, the most highly leveraged activity or profit potential selling themes that you could use in order to use the traits that are there in your design, your life aspects, so that you are in congruency with what you're here to not only learn, but also give to other people. So the profiting off of your wisdom through your money receptors. That's going to be so much fun. That's my favorite thing. Okay, so in the group coaching... It's a practical process and we are going to keep it to a small group so that everybody has time. And if you can't make it live, please do know you can always send me a question in between classes or clinics, I should say. So you're going to discover how we're going to together fine tune yourself, your marketing, you know, your awareness to your unique career design so that you can access your own innate wisdom. And it's going to help you be more aware of what throws you off track, not just the signature or the not self signpost, but also and taking into account our 
personality construct, what distracts us, and how we're naturally designed to take advantage of the mistakes and the learning potentials that are there in our own design. So one of the things that I really want to do, remember, this is always synthesized with your being your own authority. So your strengths, your public role, your life work, which is your channels, your profile, and your incarnation cross is always going to be synthesized. And your deliverables are going to be your mission for this life, your business, your, you being the business of you, your value statement, and your vision for your business. It, I can see it clearly inside of your design. Now, some of you might take more time to get to an awareness of this because it's not like these are on all the time. Oftentimes they're in undefined centers. You might be really hyper aware of it or it might be kind of hidden from you. Think Neptune. Okay, so this, what we're going to be doing, deconstructing your body graph and looking at it in different ways is going to help you craft and offer your product or service to others in the most correct an authentic way possible so that we can conquer the mind's fear of failure. Your material anxiety is rooted in the not self. Always, uh, Ra would say something like um, money equals fear because money, people want money because it leads us to security. It leads us to more likelihood of surviving, survival. So it's a seven centered thing that we are now, you know, in the process of, um, I don't know, that it feels like money and the concept of money is really going through a profound mutative shift, you know, with crypto and everything. So what happens is your conditioned mind's fear for survival, not having what you think you want or you need physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually is a huge mind trap. And since I'm a Maya mechanic, I know how to work with your genetic predispositions to help you see through the illusion of your mind's story while staying true to you and your design. That's the best feeling. So do you know what aspects of your design that you can capitalize on? Maybe for a financial or a social advantage of life, that's what you're going to discover. Do you know how to sell to the not self while awakening the true self? Oh my gosh, it's the funnest trick ever. <laughs> Ra would do that with his gate 26, you know, the trickster gate. And do you know how to use your dormant traits as possible money receptors? That's what you're going to learn. One of the first things we're going to talk about is who you need. Remember, all of us are interdependent. All of us are interdependent. We don't make money alone. We all need other people, even an independent, pure manifester. You know, they're still going to need other people to sell to. Okay, we don't make money all by our lonesome. There's always somebody to sell to. So what we're going to work with is getting the big picture by seeing the right people in your life. Our greatest resource first is ourselves. So getting right with ourselves first through our profit potentials. And then the next greatest resource is the right allies. Anytime you have a question um, about that concept, please feel free to ask. However, I don't want to have um, other people's charts brought up in our private one-on-five coaching program because it gets um, overwhelming and too much. So the right people, you'll see in your own design what you need as far as gaps that need to be filled in your business, and I'll help you identify those gaps. Just please don't ask me to analyze anybody else's chart while we're working with the individuals who are here in the group. That's a totally different thing. So one of the main focuses that we're going to be working with are the nine profit centers. Unless you're a reflector, you don't have nine profit centers. Every single undefined center in your body graph is a place where you can make money. I put the little stack of cash on top of the ego because that is literally, you know, the center of the tribe, the ego circuit. It's the heart of the material way. That is going to be a huge profit potential for about 65% of the population. 70% of the population are the head center. I have both of those undefined. So just between those two, that's enough. But then there's more, you know, wait, there's more. So whatever your specific configuration is, that's what we're going to work with over time and deconstruct and help you understand how to process this awareness. Now, I can't teach all the gates and all of the third lines. That's Ra's course. If you want to listen to Ra's course 
in tandem with this that would probably be really helpful to your process, especially if you want to know more about being a third line. So if your third line profile might be really helpful and it's really entertaining, by the way, his last class, he was coming out of retirement and he makes a lot of funny jokes and, you know, raw. He's, if you like him, it's fun to listen to. Okay. Another thing in unlocking your potential is we're going to help you align to your design strengths, learning how to outsource your weakness, knowing again exactly who that is with, and getting advice from your own design in our group analysis. So it's situational also between the small, the big, um, besides individual, the gene pool as well. There are different keynotes for different aspects, depending on what whether you're talking about family, about business, about the world at large, sociology, you know, working with the 192 different possibilities of the incarnation crosses, not to mention, you know, underneath the surface, there's always going to be a different design there, different motivations, different tonal qualities, your, your cognition, it's all very different. So 192 is just scratching the surface of differentiation. But down below, we're going to work with the deeper layers, your motivation, your trajectory as well in this course. And that's why I'm only allowing people who have already finished the radical transformations in moving forward. And we're also going to work with the nodes because the monopole, what's holding us together, your body and your mind together, operates through the nodes, this monopole. And always we have to come back to the strategy and authority is what begins the process of allowing your monopole to slowly but surely be able to align these aspects together in a potential of perfection. We call them link nodes. So link nodes, just the nodes themselves, we worked with some in our radical transformations clinic, something I added on that Raw didn't have there. But I did that so that we would have the potential awareness of our perspective really be something that we're familiar to. We can see how we're attuned to it. And we're going to work these aspects into our keynoting as well. So it's basically like we're going through group keynoting every single week after the first week because the first week is for intros to each other and our businesses we're going to troubleshoot that day the biggest problems or challenges that you're facing so that i know what you're working with as we move through the next nine weeks so again we're going to take raw's initiation that he gave to us and we're going to implement it in a deeper way a more holistic way in our process of learning to find the money that is just there waiting for us to profit on. Okay. Now, the last piece I want to tell you is that my whole joy is running small groups as far as being aware of um, the time that it takes to advise and connect with each person, but then also loving to have my contribution lead a group towards group goals. Our group goal is to have all of you have a better recognition of how your business is designed to be successful, satisfying, peaceful, whatever your keynote happens to be. So in this course, again, the BG5 requirements in order to learn what I'm teaching you, you have to be a BG5 consultant before you can go into the profit potential. Okay, so that's where you'd have to be to go there. And by the way, these don't equate with each other. BG5 is not the same as human design um, training at all. For my prerequisites, you have to be a minimum of a guide. Now there's one person in this course that I'm just adding this new um, piece on. So this one person in this course that doesn't qualify, but I'll work with her privately to make sure that she's up to speed or have all of this level one complete. Okay. So level one complete you don't have to have taken the radical transformation clinics if you took level one with me because I have completed um, radical transformations for my L1 students the first year. If you're only a guide, so like uh, Catherine, you already qualify for both of these. You, you went through the guide training at least, um, and you've gone through radical transformations, then you're in the right place. 
So you can see I'm really narrowing down the field for me to take people on. And that is to the benefit of everybody in the group so that I'm not explaining the basics and that we're able to just work with charts. And you know what I mean when I say follow your own authority. I don't have to keep explaining, you know, the, the different layers of the foundational coursework. So that's my new requirement for my personal groups moving forward. Okay, and that's how we're going to get the edge. So only five, the 10 group sessions, all of the things that we're going to be playing with so that you have the mutative breakthroughs that you're looking for. And for current students only, so you're currently in any of my classes. Right now, we can move that down instead of 1497 or 1297 for somebody who's not in classes, just 997. We have one spot left. And if you've already got your spot, congratulations. If now is not the right time, I'm not any kind of high pressured selling, it's gonna be the same down the road. And we can start a new class, a new group, you know, in about two and a half months. So I like little small groups and working with everybody really intensively. I'm gonna experiment with that this time. Thanks for joining me live. I can't do this without you. Namaste.